Alright guys, tonight's video is going to be about storing your BMW for prolonged periods of time. Anything above a couple weeks, anything over two weeks to a month to six months. Let's say you're serving in the military and you're going overseas for a tour um, and you don't have anybody to drive your car around. It's just going to sit in your garage or outside. Uh, summer vacation, you know, you get the picture. So first thing what you want to do is this is the trunk here. You're going to come over to the uh, right hand side of the trunk and you're going to lift this right here and this is where your fuses are and your jack stand right here as well but what you're going to do is you're going to come right above the fuses here let me focus that in a little better there we go and right above the fuses you're going to see this here it's going to say off and it's going to say on there's a little lever right here and all you do is you just slide that lever straight over to the right until it says off. Okay, it's just going to click. I'm not going to do it because you know I'm going to be leaving here in just a second. But um, you just slide that over off, and what that does is that cuts the uh, flow, reduces um, the uh, current flow from the battery for a period during uh, which the vehicle remains parked, and then a message um, is shown on the in display, and uh, of course that's on your gauges there. So, again, that's right above the fuses here in the right-hand side of the trunk. Just slide that over to off. Next, I recommend putting your car on jack stands. This will prevent flat spots on the, uh, on the tires um, right in the, uh, the center here from uh, having all the weight uh, for prolonged periods of time, like I said. Um, people also say to put your tires, uh, inflate them to proper levels. And then again, put your car on jack stands to prevent flat spots on your tires. Next, you want to fill your car with fresh gasoline. And what that does is that prevents moisture in an empty tank from building up and uh, drying out your seals. So you want to fill your tank with some uh, uh, good gasoline, some fresh gasoline as well. And uh, that again will uh, prevent uh, drying up of seals and moisture buildup in your car. And also, they um, say to... Uh, put gas stabilizer in your tank, and gas stabilizer will um, it'll, uh, keep your gas good for about uh, 12 months or so. And before you leave, make sure your parking brake is released. And so if you're in a steep driveway, well, um, you're going to have to um, you know, probably use that, but try not to. Um, what you can do is if you have a slight uh, um, you know, uh, steep driveway, you can put uh, the car in park like normal and then put some wheel chalk blocks to prevent rolling uh, backwards. But they say to disengage your parking brake so that uh, it's not clamping down on the rotors. Next. And they say to change your oil as well if you're going to be above about the three week mark. Um, just put a fresh oil change in. That will help uh, prevent uh, any problems. Um, uh, in your engine. They also say to lock your car and you know that of course prevents theft and then what you want to do is you want to also make sure you maintain your insurance as well because if you are gone uh, in the military or for an extended uh, vacation and your car does um, unfortunately get uh, stolen and you don't have the proper insurance well that uh, vacation is going to turn sour pretty quickly or when you get home that uh, is not going to be a very welcoming uh, so maintain your insurance and uh, also uh, make sure the car is locked also if you don't have a garage where you can store it for a prolonged period of time um, and it's going to be outside make sure you uh, go and buy a good all-weather um, car cover and I'll try to have a link in the description where you can purchase one of those but just a good uh, inexpensive all-weather car cover prevent um, you know, uh, you know, dirt, dust, debris, snow, hail, you know, stuff like that. Um, so get yourself a good car cover. And uh, if you have someone to help you out, if you have a trusted neighbor, go over and give the key to them and tell them, hey, you know, take it to the grocery store once a week, take it to work once a week, just be careful with it, make sure you're insured for that. And uh, that way, um, you know, the uh, all the fluids can get uh, going, gasoline can get pumping, um, I know my brother's friend, he uh, is in the military, and his first tour, um, he has a real beautiful M5, and he told his uh, roommate, he said, hey, listen, just take it to the store every once in a while, just be careful, and, uh, 
you know, uh, make sure it's, uh, you know, maintained properly. So um, if you have someone you trust, um, definitely uh, that's the best way to go. But again, if your whole family's leaving or if you're leaving, you don't have anyone to help you, um, these tips and tricks will uh, definitely help out. Hope this helps, guys. Uh, continue to uh, watch. I appreciate it. And I'll have some more videos up and running soon. Take care. Bye-bye.